Okay, this is question number nine on the multiple choice, and it's looking for which of the following is true. Uh, so, um, it also gives us a graph over here, and the numbers don't really matter right now. So, basically what this uh, question is trying to test is the ability for, um, for the student to be able to draw a graph uh, of a polynomial. So. This is a graph, we're going backwards, we're trying to test different things that uh, you would use to draw the graph. So, let's see, for uh, option P, we'll analyze each one of these separately. Option P says, the degree of the function f of the graph is odd, okay? So, um, the way that we would, f we would find uh, whether the, the degree is odd or even is looking at the ends of the graph. So this end is going down, that end is going up. So the options are the two ends are going different ways or the two ends are going both ways, up or down. So let's look at functions that we know. For example, x squared, and this is really a good trick, it's gonna help you know a lot of these things, okay? And it's very simple. x squared, we know, we've already memorized that it looks like this, okay? Whereas x cubed looks like this. And if, if you get uh, tricked up, you don't know if this end goes on this side or that side, you could always plug in x values and find the y values to make your graph, okay? So basically, these two um, are the lowest polynomials that will give us an example of what even and odd uh, graphs will look like. Even even uh, degree graphs will look like both are going the same way. Odd degree graphs will look like they're each way in separate ways. So that's the case that we have on this graph. Each end is going a separate way. So this get graph has got to be an odd degree. So the degree of f is odd, so that is correct. Okay, let's move on to q. The leading coefficient of f is positive. Okay, so the same thing. Let's let's go back to these and see uh, what the difference is be between the positive x cubed and the negative x cubed. Because we've already, already determined that it's odd. So we can forget this guy for now. So the positive x cubed looks like the right, um, the right end is going up, the left end is going down. The negative x cubed going to have us flip this graph upside down so that this end is going up and this end is going up. It's the opposite. So we, let's go, compare these two graphs to the graph we have and determine which ends are the same. So for the negative x cubed, the right end is going down just like here and the left end is going up just like there. So that graph is mostly like the negative x cubed. So that means that the leading coefficient of f should be the same as the leading coefficient of this guy, which is negative. So it's not positive, it's negative. So that is incorrect. And lastly, um, r says f has only one real zero with even multiplicity. Okay, so the multiplicity is no longer related to the, the, the way the ends are on this graph. The multiplicity is related to whether at each zero in the graph the, um, the function crosses or just touches the point. So let's go and determine where, where the zeros of this function are. So we have one right here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. So if you had read this, this option, half, uh, only half of it, and not have read the whole thing, you might have said that it's wrong because you would have read f has only one real zero and you would have said no, it has four. But that's not true because you have to read the whole thing. Only one of these zeros has even multiplicity. So that's what we're trying to see if it's true or false. So even multiplicity is when the point only touches and doesn't cross. So again, we could use the graphs of x cubed and x squared to find this. So remember, when you're graphing a function, what multiplicity is, is, for example, let's say you have 
a function that is x plus 1 times x minus 2 squared. Okay? What this is telling me is that x plus 1 has odd multiplicity, x minus 2 has even multiplicity. Okay? So that means that the solution to this, which is x equals to 2, has even multiplicity, so it will only touch the graph and not cross it at x equals to 2. At x equals to negative 1, which is the solution to this, it will actually cross because the multiplicity is 1, which is odd. So that's what it's telling us. So just so that you know how to relate this. So it's not really the degree of the function. It doesn't mean that it's odd because the degree of the function was odd. It just means that that 0, what power is it raised to? Okay, so at 1, 0, we have even multiplicity. So we already said even multiplicity is when it only touches, and that's only this point. It only touches at this point. At this point, it crosses the x. At this point, it crosses and it crosses. This one doesn't, it doesn't cross because the values aren't going from negative to positive or from positive to negative. Okay? And we can see this, uh, if you don't remember, if even crosses or touches, you could use the trick that I used before. Uh, this is even and this is odd. So here the even is only touching the zero and going back up. Here the odd is coming from here touching the zero and crossing. So now we know that all mu odd mu multiplicities will cross, even multiplicities will only touch. So this one is actually correct. So the answer is P and R, which is choice. Thank <laughs> you.